What's really good, man? On today's episode of I Didn't Know, maybe you didn't either, let's discuss how all superheroes don't wear capes. I didn't know, maybe you didn't either. What's really good, B Dot here. I am in High Point, North Carolina at the High Point Museum. History everywhere. Let's check this Jeezy out. Are you familiar with the name Peter Buxton? Probably not but you probably are familiar with the Tuskegee experiment of 1932. Tuskegee University and the United States Health Department teamed up to conduct an experiment on untreated syphilis in black men. And how did they conduct said experiment? By infecting black men with syphilis under the umbrella of free health care. Many black men died. Many black men just went into their community giving it out. You get a syphilis, you get a syphilis, you get a syphilis, syphilis! The experiment was supposed to last six months. It lasted 40 years, people. And on the 40th year, 27-year-old Peter Buxton, who worked for the United States Health Department, said to himself, hey, this don't seem quite right. And he was the whistleblower. He leaked the information to the newspaper, thus halting the experiment. We all know Peter Parker to be Spider-Man, but Peter Buxton is Superman without the cape. It's stories like these that prove we need allies. I didn't know. Maybe you didn't either. I didn't know.